What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me grow. And to the Boss Nation, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. You all I got. You all I got, baby. You all I got. And uh, fam, today's video, baby, is about my Alabama Crimson Tide versus University of Southern Miss. We are favored by 45 points over Southern Miss, man. In which, guys, we should have, we should not have no issues, no problems whatsoever out of Southern Miss and whatnot. I have taken a look at them, though, bro, and I'm not really impressed. You know, I'm not trying to throw shade on, on Southern Miss and whatnot if I have any Southern Miss fans watching. But, bro, I'm just calling it like it is. You know, I'm not impressed, man. And one and two record. Yes, you know, they have looked good at times, but, bro, I, guys, look, we, we are a 45-point favorite. We should not have any issues, man, with Southern Miss. Oh, but also, though, fam, I have been looking at Southern Miss. Their quarterback is out. Their starting quarterback is out. So now, you know, they got a new quarterback in. And also, fam, interesting fact, we all know who Frank, Frank Gore is. If you're a um, football fan, you should know who Frank Gore is. Bro, his son, Frank Gore Jr., it's coming to town. 6.30 o'clock um, p.m. game, nighttime game, primetime game, fam. But it's, it's Southern Miss. But anyway, Frank Gore Jr., man. This this is a highlight of the game. This is a highlight of, of um just our game in general, bro. It's Frank Gore Jr. And yes, I know his dad was a beast. So I'm interested to see how he's going to be, man, against us. In which, fam, I don't think it's going to be pretty. <laughs> I really don't, man, because i um, the game we had last week, fam, against Florida, bro, I'm finna touch bases on a lot of stuff in this video, man. The game we had last week, man, bro, I was I was surprised, okay? Fam, our defense got exposed, 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 fam. Like we we was not we was not hitting on all cylinders. Uh Henry told Toll, yes, he's he's good, bro. He's good. But he was out of position a lot of times. If you go back and look at the game. Just look at him, bro. He was out of position a lot of time. He was backpedaling a lot and whatnot instead of just attacking. Fam, we got to do better, man. Now, Will Anderson, of course, he did his thing. But Darian Mathis, they always do, bro. Those two people right there, those two linebackers, bro, they going to do their thing. Thing is, though, you know, we got to have a leader as well, man. It was Will Anderson. He, he says he's like to show um, by example. But man, we gonna need we need somebody to be a vocal leader. We gotta have that, man. Every year we have had that, and this year, bro, is no different. We needed this year as well. And I'm thinking Will Anderson, what, what he said in on um, the press conference, that bro, I am gonna do a better job. Not only am I gonna show lead by example, but I'm gonna be a more vocal leader as well. So we definitely, man, definitely gotta get somebody talking on that defense, man. We got to. But fam, um, this game right here is kind of like a redemption game, bro. We gotta come in and we just got to dominate we just got to dominate we just got to dominate we got to dominate man we got to be clean on all faces of the game you know offense and defense man because man next week bro and i hope well i know we're not because we out of bama we're not looking forward to an old miss yet because we got to take care of business here at home but we have to um we have to clean up some stuff man our defense has got to get things together and yes i know a lot of people been saying pete golden this Pete Golden that, and and we tend to have these type of games like under him for real, bro. Because to be honest with you, man, I'm not a big fan of Pete Golden either. You know, I'm really not because he's more of a like a chess checker player, man. He likes to sit back and see what you do, try to figure you out instead of just being like a Jeremy Pruitt type of guy. You know, just attacking, man. Just attack that ass. You your, your own defense, man. Attack him. That's all you got to do, bro. Make them feel it, man. Press them, you know. Don't try to figure out what they're going to do, man. Just attack them, man. But anyway, um, you know, Pete Golden, man. I don't know how long Pete Golden's going to be here. I wish we can get Jeremy Pruitt back, bro. But, hell, he, he's I think he's on in the NFL doing something, man. I forgot what team he's on. I don't know if it's the Giants or whatever. But, fam, we have got to do better on our defense, man. And it starts with our players. It starts with our players. You know, we can talk about Pete Golden all day. But it starts with us, man. We got to get this thing. We got to get this thing rolling. It's us. And as far as our offense go, man, offensive line and whatnot, yes, bro, we are doing good. Yes, we are young. 
and the spins, but we are still doing good. But I need Evan Neal to get these guys together as well because it's, it was some plays, bro. Now, I didn't like how Bryce Young was getting pressured. I really didn't like how he was getting pressured, but it's, it's college football. It's Florida. And I, and I, like I said, man, I really thought we were going to beat Florida down. It was, it was looking that way in the first quarter. But after Florida started adjusting and started getting used to us, man, man, it became a game. Plus, we in their house. We was in their house. We was in the swamp. The fans going crazy. We, bro, we ain't had fans uh, in, in two years. So we got to get back used to that, too. Bryce Young has never had them. So, guys, it was just a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff we had to get used to. Going on the road, hostile territory. Plus, we wasn't hitting no all cylinders. Now, B Rob and whatnot, man. B Rob, bro, he did his thing. He is a hard, tough runner, man. He really is a hard, tough runner. But, guys, I don't know if he just, the, you know what I'm saying, the, the back that just hit it every time, man, like we have had, man. You know, now Chase McCutter, he came in and he did a good job, bro. He did a hell of a job, man. But B Rock gonna need some help, bro. He's gonna need some help. He did get us some tough yards, man. I'm not gonna lie. The boy's good, man. You know, he's been there all these years. He deserves to start. He deserves it. I'm just saying, we're gonna need a cable back coming behind him, which Chase McCutter. I could definitely see him being that back. But also, I really like Rodell Williams, man, when I seen him in spring. Get him in the game as well. Don't just be B Rob and Chase McCullough. Get them all on um, going, man. We all need it. They all need that experience. Fam, you feel me? So we just need to get everybody going. I know we're going to get everybody going in Southern Miss. I'm pretty sure because halftime, I expect us to be at least, up at least by 30, 31 points, if not more. You know, so the second half, I want to see a little bit of Paul Tyson. And I want to see my boy uh, Jalen Miro get in as well, man, and just keep improving. Because hypothetically speaking, God forbid, if something happens to Bryce Young, bro, we are done. You feel me, fam? We are done. We got to have a capable quarterback coming in behind Bryce Young just in case something happens. So that's what I'm saying. Our offensive line, man, we're going to protect Bryce Young better. And we're just going to get more experience for everybody, you know. And this is the perfect game to do it in and whatnot. But, yeah, guys, we had just got to have a come to Jesus meeting, and we just got to get this thing back going, man. You know, it was not saying we didn't have it going previously because we did, but it just, you know how it is, bro. When you meet somebody like a SEC quality, quality team like Florida, and then we get exposed and whatnot, that just shows us what we need what we need to work on. Now, it's always easier working on when it's a victory. Now, if we had lost that game, bro, I would have been devastated, and I'd probably just been making a video today. I probably wouldn't have made no videos, man. <laughs> so at least we won the game, okay? We won the game, guys. But um, but yeah, man, we just got a lot of stuff we got to get fixed because we're going to have tougher competition coming up ahead. And we're going to go back to back because I called in that video, bro. We are going back to back national championships, national champions this year. I can guarantee you we are going back to back. And from what I see in our schedule next year and whatnot, bro, we could be a three-peat. So, fam, we got to get it together now. You feel me? We got to get it together now. And it starts with Southern Miss coming up this weekend. But anyway, guys, look, I love you, fam. And like I said on my videos, y'all are who I do this for. Y'all y'all are, man. I love y'all to death. And also, fam, like I said on my videos, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. With that being said, much love. Much love, fam. And I'll stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you. I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.